Aloha my loves, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to um, just share a quick update with you. So on my channel, you know, I talk about spirituality, I talk about love, manifestation, laws of attraction, God, um, your divine language, and so forth. However, um, one of the th questions that I keep getting asked over and over again is how do you identify your divine language? How do you develop a spiritual relationship with God? So I recommend starting with finding out the characteristics of your creator, right? If you believe in God, then go to the Bible. If you believe in Yahweh, you go to the Torah or Judaism. If you believe in Kali or, um, you know, Far East gods, then you, you research them and you find out their characteristics. Then you start to pay attention to things that pop up in the day, such as synchronistic stuff, like if there are colors that keep popping up. If you notice certain instrument that keeps popping up, like for example, if Kali works with the sword and skulls, and you may start to notice that you may have a dream where you see knives and swords or you know, you may be watching a movie and a sword fight scene just kind of jumps out at you and you're like, oh my gosh, why is that? That's your divine, your creator making a connection, right? Then you start to pay attention to not just your dreams, but also things that synchronistic things that happen throughout the day. Numbers is another way. Um, colors, you know, what is the color that is associated with your creator? And then, um, you know, you keep researching, but you pay attention and you listen. And it's not a process that is quick. You know, God speaks, for me, God speaks quiet, still. He's not forceful. Um, so sometimes, if I am not fully focused, I will just miss the voice. However, because I've had a relationship with God over the years and I've developed a connection, God really knows how to get my attention. And I really know how to, you know, tap in and move forward. So I recommend creating your, your, your figuring out the way how God speaks to you. And then from there, you start to put one thing in action and then you test it because the Bible say test everything. You know, don't just take it as is, just test it. And then the more you test and you see the answers, and it doesn't mean that you won't have disappointments. It doesn't mean that sad things won't happen. It doesn't mean that plans that you have that you were so sure of will, will always go through because a part of living a divinely connected life is not being fully attached and also surrender. And surrender is so key and so is patience. So I recommend establishing your firm, solid found spiritual connection, your firm, solid foundation. And then from there, one step at a time, if you're given a goal or an assignment, you write it down and then you start to take inspired action. You know, you will get an idea, write it down. You get a vision about something, you write it down. You're told to go somewhere, you just go. You're told to reach out to someone, you do. And as you take each step, it builds faith. One of the things that I loved about Abraham is that God told him, you know, leave your family and go. And Abraham just literally, like, he went. Abraham did not stall. He just said to his wife, let's go. And they started to pack and they start to move. And if you follow, again, another key point is the people in the Bible that God used to do powerful things, research them. The people who have done powerful things in this earth, research their life, research them, because they are their patterns too that will also help you to identify divine language. If this is, um, if you find value in this, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And I will be on next time with more nuggets for you. Aloha, malama pono, mahalo.